Okay, but Red Shop is a scam. Let's make this clear, that is definitely a scam. Since the game's launch, we've seen new shops pop up in Harvey's Island, and we also can't forget about the buildings and shops that you can find on the Happy and Paradise Archipelago as well. But to the disappointment of some players, we haven't been able to add any new buildings to our main island. Some places have become more expandable, like the museum for example with the art exhibit and the roost added later on, but we haven't been able to add any new major structures to the island. However, there is a really ingenious way of filling up your island with some really cool and original new shops. Although sadly these shops don't have a functional purpose, if you're looking to add some more personality to your island or even just fill some space, these could be a really fantastic addition and they're super easy to build as well. As you can see, you can build custom shops for characters like Leaf. You can even make ones for Flick and CJ, and we can't forget about Daisy May and her stonks shop either. These shop designs were all created by Tropikitch ACNH over on Instagram, whose island I'm showing off right now, and you can see just how cool these shops actually look. Each shop is made up of several different elements, for example items like the bookcase and of course the simple panels which you can actually display these custom designs on, which really sell the design. Although I know some people aren't a big fan of creating illusion designs like this where you're using simple panels and other unrelated items that wouldn't usually work as a shop to create something new, I personally think it's really clever and a super cool way to create some new ideas on your island that simply wouldn't be possible without this creative thinking. Although it is worth noting that this island was actually created before 2.0 as far as I know, which means that you may be able to use some of the newer items to make all kinds of different illusions as well, just whatever your mind can come up with. Either way, these incredibly designed signs are what will really sell these as shops on your island, and there are options for so many different special characters as well, so you could make shops for all of your favourite ones. Even if you don't have a more city themed island, I'm sure you could still incorporate these into a natural feeling island too. In fact, there are even designs for some villagers in the game who can have their own shops. For example, here is one for Audi which looks incredibly cool, so maybe you could even make a special shop for one of your villagers. Tropikic has even created some detailed tutorials over on their Instagram to show you exactly how to make these, but of course you can add your own touch to it as well and design it however you'd like. As long as you can get the simple panels and find some other items to help make the illusion, it's fairly simple to do and I'm sure there's lots of different items that you could work with. Even more simple panel types were added in the 2.0 update as well, so maybe you could incorporate them in somehow too. You can even check out their Instagram to find the codes for these different storefronts, or you could head to their dream address which I'm showing off on screen and find the codes in the kiosk outside of resident services. Although it's a shame we didn't get to see more buildings added to our islands officially in Animal Crossing New Horizons, I think it's super cool how players have been so creative and have been able to create designs that we can use ourselves to make some really cool new shops. If you're struggling to fill up space on your island or you're just simply looking for something new to build, then this could definitely be your next project and I think it's a really cool one. But let me know in the comments section down below, are you planning on creating any of these new custom shops on your own island? Have you ever used any custom designs before? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end, then be sure to comment Bob's Gang so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. I want to say thank you to these channel members for supporting me and the content that I make here. Their contributions allow me to keep making videos. If you want to support these videos and get some great perks for doing so like access to our members only discord, exclusive bob emojis and live streams and much more, then click the join button down below the video or the link in the description.